What is going on guys, Money Webby here, back again on Friday, we got a nice slate here tonight, an often interesting night last night, in that two game slate, both of the games turned out to be super high scoring, uh, both teams around, or like every team around like 120 points, crazy stuff last night, I mean our plays worked out very nicely, but it just seemed like everyone on that slate went off, we had Westbrook who went for a triple double, Draymond Green went for a triple double, Lou Will got a double double with the assist, uh, Eric Gordon dropped over 50 drafting points, so all of those plays worked out, but Ryan Anderson really bit us in the ass, I uh, couldn't really get his jump shots to fall, but our dollar tree play of the day, Gerald Green, Really picked up the slack there, dropping 38 drafting points. He was hitting every single three he shot, it seemed like. So that was a good night, but I mean, the slate kind of ruined it with everyone just going off in that Clippers game. Uh, Thunder, like I thought Westbrook, it was just going to be the Westbrook show for the Thunder, but Mello and Paul George were hitting all of their shots as well. So that kind of sucked, but we got a nice slate here tonight, so not like... A little bit better with these big game slates. If you're not on someone, you can still win the night. Uh, it's not as like weird and kind of variable, whatever, the two game slate. If you're off one guy, you really can be screwed here. But this 10 game slate, I feel good about it. We're going to go with a nice balanced approach with these plays. My top five. So drop a like on the video if you're ready to go. Win some money here tonight and subscribe if you haven't already to get these plays every single night. So we're going to kick it off here with Chris Dunn. 7,100 going against Dallas. Good matchup here. They really struggle against the point guard. Dennis Smith Jr., the rookie, is not a great defender. And Chris Dunn, he has some huge game upside. He got 44 against Washington, 52 against Milwaukee, 40 against Orlando. He can definitely reach 40-plus yet again in this game. Uh, his price went down a bit to 7,100, so an easier task of returning five times plus value. So I like him in the spot to get us good, safe production and to have that upside to really go off for us. So lock him in there. For my second guy, I'm going to go with DeMar DeRozan. His price did take a huge jump going against Milwaukee, but for good reason. He dropped 52 points against the last game, shooting 58% from the field. Like, it's crazy to see someone drop that many points that effectively. So he definitely likes this matchup. He was comfortable in it. I think they go to him a lot in this game, yet again, his shot total has been up recently. And Kyle Lowry also got banged up in the last game with a wrist injury. I think he's had that in the past, so maybe he's a little bit uh, cautious about that. And they go to DeRozan a lot in this matchup that he has shown he can beast on them. So 8900 maybe people get scared away from the price. I hope so, because I think DeMar DeRozan could easily go for 50-plus drafting points yet again in this game. He is a bit of a volatile player. Like, he can honestly just, like, start missing every single shot, like you see here against Dallas and OKC. But he also has that crazy upside, like against Philly, 63 drafting points. So I like him tonight in this matchup, so lock him in there. For my third play, we're going to go with Tyreek Evans here at 8,000, another guy that's been going insane over the last couple of weeks, uh, around 40 drafting points plus in a lot of his games. And I think he can get it done here yet again against Washington. Should be an upper tempo game, a higher scoring game, and Memphis has been letting up a lot of points and kind of playing uh, just a faster paced basketball, higher scoring games, which favors Tyreek Evans a lot here. So at 8,000, they can get over 40 drafting points plus yet again. Uh, they, Washington likes to go with that small ball approach with Markeith Morris at the 5. So Tyreek Evans should be able to drive to the hoop with ease against not really a run protector for the Wizards. And he can definitely get some assists passing to Marcus Saul and all the boys on the Grizzlies. So at 8,000, like the price here for Tyreek Evans. <clears throat> Lock him in there. And for my fourth play, Derek Favors here. I love going this guy. It seems like I'm always on this guy. But against Denver... 6,000. He's had some great games against them. I think he went over 30, uh, almost 40 drafting points one night. And at 29 minutes, that game turned into a blowout. He got 30 drafting points against them. So he definitely likes his matchup. Pretty sure he got in foul trouble in the game as well. He didn't even get as many minutes as he should have. So I think he can go over 30 drafting points yet again at 6,000. That's what we're looking for. He's been very safe. A great cash game play here. Going against Denver, a matchup that he definitely likes. He's averaging 35 drafting points in the three games against him. In only 29 minutes, he could easily get over 30 minutes in this game if it does stay close like we saw against New Orleans. So I like the matchup here. He's their second option pretty much with uh, behind Donovan Mitchell. So I like Favors in this spot. Lock him in there. For my fifth play... We're going to go with a seasoned veteran here, Dirk Nowitzki at 5,000, 
going against Chicago, going back home to Dallas. He's got to put on a show for the fans. It's probably his last year, maybe his second to last year here. So I, he might actually announce he's retiring. I kind of forget, but I think this is a good spot for Dirk. He's had some big games recently. Uh, around, he's been very consistent, except that game against OKC, like 27, 36, 32. Been very solid, so a good cash game play here. His shot total has been going up and getting some more rebounds because he's been playing that five position for the Mavericks. So I like him in this spot. Going against Robin Lopez, who's kind of been kind of bad defensively this year, and Dirk can definitely take advantage of him with... Uh, kind of spreading himself out to around that three-point line and the long shots <clears throat> as Robin Lopez normally doesn't make himself his way out there in the three-point line. So I think Dirk Nowitzki can get it done this game at 5,000, maybe a few extra minutes at home here to put on a show for the Maverick fans. So lock him in there. So we got 5,000 remaining for player with those five plays. They're Chris Dunn, DeMar DeRozan, Derek Favors, Dirk Nowitzki, and Tyreek Evans, a very balanced lineup. All, honestly, all of those guys could reach like 40 drafting points, maybe besides Dirk Nowitzki there, but all very solid plays tonight for you guys. So for my Dollar Tree play of the day, though, we're going to go with Evan Turner, a guy that's been balling out recently. think he can carry that over into tonight going against Atlanta. A great matchup, a team that struggles against small 40s. Saw him this other night dropping 20 drafting points in that game, but didn't get as many minutes as they got blown out, and that was when they didn't have Damian Lillard. With Damian Lillard, that kind of spreads out the, the court, gives him some more spacing, and Evan Turner can get to easier shots like we saw against Chicago and against Cleveland. Uh, 38 drafting points, 31. Damian Lord didn't play in that game against Chicago, but he was just feeling himself, I guess, with 38 drafting points. But against Cleveland, I was actually watching that game. Evan Turner looked very good, so I think he can carry that over getting around maybe... Getting close to 30 drafting points, maybe not 30, but high 20s, so a good little value play. Not with crazy upside, but I feel very safe about him in the spot with the minutes he's been getting. He's been in the starting lineup, and he can do a lot. He can get some rebounds, solid passer. He's a capable scorer, especially if he's hitting threes. Uh, he's not known for his three-point shooting, but if he's hitting some threes, and you know Evan Turner is feeling himself. So 4,400, I like the play. The minutes are solid, safe play. Lock him in there. So that is it, guys. You got your top five plays in your Dollar Tree play of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like in the video if you did. Let's try to get over 50 likes on this video uploading a little bit late so sorry about that but i kind of had to do some more research here and had the shovel and stuff last night so my sleep schedule was a little messed up we got like a foot of snow here in massachusetts a tough little wake-up call yesterday but you live and you learn from yesterday a nice little slate yesterday i was hoping i was gonna go insane when i saw like steph curry draymond green eric gordon all going off but then everyone went off in that okc game so that sucked but these plays should work out. I wish you guys the best of luck on this slate. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already. 25 subscribers away from the giveaway. I'm going to be uploading an NFL drafting pick shortly here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Good luck tonight, guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow.